Welcome back out to the Suits Crafting Workshop. We're out here and we're going to be bringing you part two assembly of this American Patriot pen uh, that we've done in Patriot Cure Night. It's absolutely stunning. It's going to be a nice feature. Uh, just a quick question for you. We've got this cut up into two parts. I just want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the new format, cutting it up into multiple 10 minute sections so that it's easier for your viewing pleasure. Go ahead and just click this link right here. Take the poll that'll be fantastic and let's go ahead and get to the video if you have ideas for ways that we can change up our format that you would enjoy better go ahead and leave them in the comment section below otherwise let's get to the video all right so we got all of our parts all laid up and we're ready to assemble here got them all laid out makes it a little bit simpler i've double checked my diagram always got to double check your diagrams here because especially with this kit um, you've got different sizes at different parts along the kit. Uh, so at the cap here, this end it needs to be the end that's 0.47. Meanwhile, this end needs to be the end that's 0.51 uh, of an inch. And then the center here needs to be that both ends are 0.5. So I mean, you could easily reverse that and not even know it. So then you also got to double check that you've got your ends marked up correctly and that you know which ends are going to mate and then you have to decide well if they're made it up how do i want this to flow do i want uh it to look you know it concentric when the cap is on or do i want it to look concentric while you're writing and so you kind of got to make that decision and then line your parts up accordingly and, uh, and, and index them later so we got all these out and we're going to get these pressed together. So I'm going to go according to the assembly uh, instructions that come in your kit. So we've got the assembly instructions here. So first we press the clip cap assembly into the smaller diameter of the upper barrel. And the upper barrel is the shorter one and the smaller diameter is here. So we have to decide right here and now, the only feature that's on this, this section is that white line right there all the other ribbon disappeared as we were laying it down which was kind of a bummer but you still get that really nice blue shimmer right through that section where the white's at so i think that we're going to have that blue shimmer facing to the outside because if we were to rotate that and have the blue shimmer facing up toward the clip you would miss out on it on that side and then the blue shimmer would be toward the back but by rotating it having it to the side like this then we got that nice blue shimmer on the sides and it's visible on both sides there. So I think that's what our main feature is going to be. So we want that to the outside and the clip can just cover up the section that doesn't, uh, doesn't see any of that. So let's grab a piece of paper here. So we don't want to mar up the, the metal on the back side there. Grab a piece of torn cloth here, torn blue towel, and we will just gently not do anything because I need a spacer. So I got just a piece of coca bolo here, I use as a spacer. Set that in there, just like that. Gently press those pieces together, rotate them a little, okay, there we go. So that's in there, we got a nice finish, nice transition. Alright, now we'll press our center band in, and I always like to put the God Bless America kind of central on the band and that means that I just kind of point the clip right there at that last S hope you can't see that there we go right there toward the last S so we'll just press that in sometimes I feel like I need three hands in order to run this, uh, this machine be real gentle with this because that is not a metal part that you are pressing into. It is a plastic part that you're pressing that in on. 
So just gentle pressure. It doesn't take much to push it in. And there we go. That's that. That's all nice and it pressed in there. Got a nice transition there. And now we'll move on to the body of the pen. Press a coupler into either end of the longer barrel. So these are the couplers, and you have two of these. One end, the step, step end, goes into the barrel. They're both exactly the same, because they both do the same function. They post the cap on either the front or the back. And they're both the exact same diameter on this center portion here. So it doesn't matter which end you put those into, they go into either end. Now to index these, what I want to do is I want to index this white line here, so you can see that there, with this white ribbon section that you see here. Because I, I'll bet you when they were mixing those up and they put those ribbons in there, that these two pieces uh, go together. And that, it, that was just a little section that came off of here, twisted up this way and left that line there. Because if you look around, there are no other sections that are just white. The white almost always has a red ribbon with it. And so that white piece there has got to be a piece of this here. So we're just going to put that on the center. And if you look, the shimmer kind of lines up as well by putting it right there. And that's what we want, is that shimmer to line up right there. So what we do to index is we take our cap section and we press or screw that in just like that and then we take this section and we re-index those with how we want them just press those on firm and you can even press it in by hand a little bit once you're satisfied with that you unscrew it put it into your press and drive it home. And there we go. So now, to put it on, you just line those two pieces up, screw it in, and we got a nice index. That looks wonderful. Beautiful pad. So now we put the rest of our parts together, put our end cap on. put our fountain tip in and there we go absolutely beautiful pad see that just shimmer right through there I had to come up with a manlier word than shimmer because I don't think that the people I'm giving selling these to are going to appreciate that Oh yes, your pen is very shimmery. No, I don't think they're going to go for that. So we'll have to think of a different word. Manly glitter. i got to look that up in a thesaurus here. See if I can't find something for that. But that does look just stunning. Very nice. These do make a beautiful pen. And that's how that beautiful pen gets assembled. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. I just wanted to ask you one more time what you think of the new format, having the video split up, part one, part two. Um, so if you'll please click this link right here, just take a quick poll, let me know what you guys think. Having them break, broken up into two sections of about 10 minute videos, if that's easier for your viewing pleasure. If you have any ideas on how we might make other changes in the video, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I do read all of those and I quickly reply uh, whenever I see that those are posted. 
Also, if you want to check out part one of this video, it's going to be linked here. And if you want to check out any of my other videos, please check the link here. And please do remember to subscribe. I'm working on putting out a video at least every week. I don't have a set schedule yet. My other work is a little bit hectic, uh, a little crazy. My schedule isn't always set there. So I don't know when I'll be able to get videos out. But I do try to get one every week out to you. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. This is Suits Crafting, signing off.